Okay, I just want to real briefly share the information I have here um, with this 220-volt uh, automatic tank drain. Um, first of all, I, I guess I want you to understand that uh, installing an automatic tank drain isn't about being lazy. That's by no means it at all. Um, after installing this tank drain and actually watching it purge, I'm just amazed at the amount of moisture that's in the bottom of the tank uh, while the compressor is running. Um, so if you want true clean dry air, uh, adding a tank drain will definitely help and obviously adding a refrigerated air dryer would be even better along with some filters. Um, the only filters I have in this compressor is just an oil water separator and I will be adding a filter in the, on, in the shop that I'm in. Um, for my finishing equipment to help filter that as well. I have done a little bit of finishing with this compressor and I haven't seen any fish eyes, so I think I've been lucky so far, um, especially all these years, but I will be adding a coalescing filter right at the very end on my finishing equipment. But getting back to the tank drain, um, somebody had rudely posted a comment on one of my videos, I think it was a Quincy Compressor Update 227. I talked about adding a tank drain and uh, somebody posted a comment on there It said uh, don't be lazy just go over there and uh, drain the tank. Um, you know it's not about being lazy it's more so about uh, having a consistent dry tank. Um, I know putting a tank drain on a 5 horse compressor sounds like it's kind of ridiculous and maybe it is but uh, at the same time this compressor is in a uh, remote location from the shop and second of all um, I've always had issues with uh, water in the lines in the past and usually it's been because uh, just from the condensation in the tank obviously. Uh, since I've installed the automatic tank drain, I have noticed um, very, 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 very little water in the water separator I have set up in my shop. Very little to none. Uh, as compared to before, it was quite a bit. Um, it could also have a lot to do with it being that this compressor uh, doesn't cycle as often. Uh, compared to my old Canva Hulsefield, it cycled uh, or ran continuously depending on what I was doing. So. Um, anyways, I'm going to mount the camera down by the tank drain. I'm going to run it for its cycle, and you'd just be amazed to see uh, the moisture that comes out of that tank drain.